game industry. A world that exists in a dimension other than our own, where the four goddesses watch and rule over their nations. Last station. The nation ruled by the goddess Blackheart. Loi, the nation ruled by the goddess Whiteheart. Leanbox, the nation ruled by the goddess Greenheart. And Planetune, the nation ruled by the goddess Purpleheart. Though the nations faced the threat of destruction many times, the four goddesses have always banded together to defend game industry. In their current adventure, however, they have been selected as beta testers for a brand new online game. That game is called... are super cute! I look so heroic! Amazing! Yeah! I tried to make it look just like me in real life, but I might have gotten a little carried away. <laughs> I'm like a kangaroo! Bouncing and jumping, swinging a sword! Oh yeah! These controls are so comfy! Ahem! Now then, I should introduce myself. The name's Neptune, the goddess of a little nation called Planet Tune. Not to mention the series protagonist. But here, on Four Goddesses Online, I'm but a lowly apprentice paladin. I'm just here taking a break from my work. I'm supposed to play this game with the others today. But where are they? Whoa! Right on cue! Hey! I'm over here! You're early, Neptune. I didn't think you'd be the first here. No one's ever late when it comes to playing a new game. Lon, you're a priest? Oh, wow. It's giving me goosebumps seeing you in that outfit. This is incredible. Well, I usually play DPS characters in games, so I thought this might be nice for a change. Hey, um, so what about my outfit? You're a black knight noir? <laughs> Interesting choice. Are you burning hot with rivalry against me, the noble paladin? It's not like that. But there's no way I'd lose to you when it comes to playing an online game. Goodness, everyone is here already. I apologize for making you wait. We all just got here. Don't even worry about it. What class are you? <laughs> that outfit looks so elven. <laughs> I have chosen the Enchanter class. It is the only class that bestows attributes upon players depending on the situation. Your weapon's a rapier? In real life, Noir has a sword, and you have a spear, but here you've switched. It would seem everyone has changed quite a bit in our short time here. Looking at the balance of our classes, we should make a splendid party. Alrighty, now that everyone's here, I guess I'll introduce these three here to you guys on the other side of the screen. This girl's Noir. She's the goddess of a little nation known as Dun Dun Dun, La Station. She's usually a bit of a loner, but since she's in our party, I guess she doesn't have to be so lonely this time around. <laughs> Way to go, Noir! When all is said and done, Noir's sassy wit is a great foil to my finely tuned sense of slapstick. Please, take care of her, everyone. Ahem. Up next is Blonde. She's the goddess of a nation full of snowy wonder, the land of white serenity, the wintry, the wonderful, the lovely Loie. 
She's a shy, homely girl who loves to read, but once she loses her temper, she's unstoppable. Also, she's occasionally frustrated with her shortcomings in the, um, chest area, <laughs> but it seems like her loyal subjects are fine with that. Last up is Vert. Even if she might seem like the calmest of us four, she's a super hardcore gamer, a cut above the rest. As you can see, she's got a lot of, um, volume. She acts like her older sister sometimes, but she's actually the only one here without a sibling. But anyway, this here lady is also known as the goddess of Leanbox. Please, give them all your support. Hey, who are you talking to? And I thought I heard something about being lonely. Hey, what's this about shortcomings? A sister? Did you mention something about me having a little sister? Huh? Y you're just imagining things. You guys are so silly. <laughs> hmm, really now? Come on! Let's stop the chit-chat and finish up these tutorials. Oh, hey! There's a sign over there. Uh, where do you think you're going? Don't run away from me, Neptune. I agree with Neptune. I would like to try the combat here as soon as possible. Come now, Blonde. We should catch up to them. Good grief. It's like this every time. Normally, our nations compete against each other, but in this world, we can actually have fun and play together. The party shares a common destiny. There will be no rogue players. We work together. I will personally lend a hand if anyone needs help. You know, Vert, you're the first person I'd suspect of being a solo player and running away from the party. Yep, I agree. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep up with your playing style, Vert. I don't really do all-nighters, so I'll leave that to you. <laughs> not to worry. Just this once, I will not concern myself with completion or ranking lists. I will simply and sincerely explore this new world. I will make new friends and tell others about this wonderful new game. That is my responsibility as one who received an early access invitation from the Four Goddesses Online Management. I take this seriously. I'm shocked. That MMO monster Vert isn't going to try and be a top-ranking player. Seriously. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Somebody picked my jaw up off the floor. Well, playing casually would be a good break from work. And this doesn't feel like a game meant for competition. I can respect that, Vert. Thank you, Noir. That being said, let us let loose and enjoy ourselves. I believe this episode will take place on a different stage than the one from the previous Four Goddesses Online. I am exploring this world for the first time, and along with all the other beta testers, I am beginning at level one. I am so thoroughly excited! Oh, is that it? Hey, I found the event point for the tutorial! Wow, what a beautiful view! It's so inspiring. It's just like if we were out sightseeing in the real world. Our new adventure's about to begin. Now then, everyone. Let us move on towards the new horizon of Four Goddesses Online. Yeah!
Super cool opening. The game's gonna start. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played an MMO. I wonder what kind of story this one has. You said this episode takes place on a different stage. Okay, then tell me this. Are these dungeons not like the ones in the normal Four Goddesses Online verse? Yes, that is correct. This land is completely new to me. And I have been looking very forward to the element of discovery in this game. An untouched land that stretches out as far as my eyes can see. Ah, oh, I cannot wait! These kinds of games are the most fun! We'll meet all sorts of new people, too! <laughs> I totally agree. The best part about being online is being able to make new friends. I only play with close friends. But perhaps if I feel like it... Maybe I'll try healing other players in this game. I'm sure we're gonna run into other players up ahead! All right, let's keep moving on! Hey, there's someone here! Maybe it's the tutorial receptionist. It's wonderful to meet you, adventurers. My name is Bouquet. I am a guardian spirit, a royal geist, sent by the goddesses, those who guard this world, known as Allsguard, in order to guide your path. As I maintain the chronicle of this land, allow me to explain the story of this place and... Oh, oh my! Oh dear, oh my! <laughs> what? What an absolutely adorable girl! My dear, how would you like to become my younger sister? What? Uh, my vision is filled with bouncy, bouncy! Chill out, Bert! What in the world are you doing? You've given the poor girl a nosebleed! Ugh, bouncy, bouncy? You gotta be freaking kidding me! <sighs> no, calm down, Blum. I can't let something so stupid get to me. Wait a minute. She's an NPC, but she's reacting to the player's actions in real time? Ha! Huh, so you've noticed. This is another one of the elements in the game that I was becoming very excited about. That element is the game's communication system. NPCs in this world are equipped with a very powerful AI that has the ability to learn. What? So that means you can just talk normally with a character and they'll carry on a conversation with you? <laughs> That's super cool! Doesn't Planetune specialize in communication AI? How are you not familiar with this? Uh, does it? I don't know much about that, but Planetune's technology is number one in game industry, so that makes sense. Number one? You know, Lat Station's tech is unparalleled in basically every other area. Hm. Tech aside, Louis is certainly the best. We have a long history of supporting a wide range of citizens, from children to the elderly. Now, now, the real world is currently irrelevant. Oh, I've never experienced such an intense embrace before. The bouncy bouncy can't be taken lightly. I've learned something new. Vert, you're coming on way too strong. Okay, are you all right? But, but, but my ideal vision, my dream of a little sister has finally appeared before my eyes. Down, Vert. Just calm down. Let's listen to what she has to say. Oh, yes. <clears throat> then let me collect myself and I will tell you, adventurers, about this land. Long ago, four goddesses descended from the divine realm into this empty world. Purple Heart, the goddess of fate. Black Heart, the 
goddess of prosperity. Whiteheart, the goddess of order. Greenheart, the goddess of fertility. The four goddesses created this world and named it Allsgard. They vowed to protect it. This land is home to the world tree, Greenbridae, otherwise known as the Tree of Light. It is the source of this world's magical power. Its roots spread all across Allsgard, giving life to all things, from the smallest insects to the largest animals. All life was born from Greenbridae. A thousand years ago, the goddesses sealed away an invader from the demon realm called the Demon King Jester. He attempted to steal Greenbridae's magic but was defeated. The battle took its toll, and the goddesses had to leave Allsgard. They created the sacred treasures in which their remaining power was bestowed. They told the royal geist of that age, my great great grandmother, when the world is in danger once again, those carrying our blessings shall appear. Grant them the sacred treasures and call to us. Keep guard of the treasures until that time comes. They retreated to the divine realm and slumbered. We guardian spirits have kept this story close to our hearts. We've passed it down to our descendants for generations. And now, the ones who have received the blessings of the goddesses have arrived! Yes, you all! You are the chosen ones! It is your duty to gather the sacred treasures at Tetu Temple to revive the four goddesses. You must stop the resurrection of the Demon King. Please, only you can save this world. In order to call the goddesses from the Divine Realm, we need the power of all of you, the Chosen Ones, as well as the power of the Sacred Treasures. There are a total of four Sacred Treasures. It will be possible for the goddesses to descend by offering them to the altar. It may become a very difficult journey, but this is something only you, the Chosen Ones, can do. Our fate lies in your hands. The models for the four goddesses are us, right? I wonder what the goddesses of this world are like. I want to meet them already. Defeating a demon king, huh? It sounds like a classic fairy tale. It feels exciting to go through a story like this for once. Now that we know the final boss, where should we go first? You mentioned several names that all sounded rather important. Y yes. Past this forest is the city of Wishuo which is a base for all adventurers. At the heart of the city lies a sacred place called Kalofrim Cathedral, where the goddesses are revered. Please head there first. Hmm, I see. Even in this game, it seems to be a very important building. We understand. Thanks for giving us all that info. Just watch, we're gonna clear the first dungeon in no time. Yes, of course. I wish you all the best of luck. This forest is a place to test and train adventurers. Please learn how to navigate Allsgard at your own pace. That being said, I'll be on my way. Wait a minute, Bouquet. Will we meet again? My mission is to guide adventurers. If you are truly the Chosen Ones, then we shall meet again in the Cathedral after your trial. That is relieving to hear. We have only just met. I do hope we are able to deepen our friendship. Please, go easy on me. I'm so sorry, Bouquet. You don't have to pay this lady any attention, okay? Vert should shut her mouth for a while. Let's focus on moving forward. How regrettable. I suppose it cannot be helped. All right. Let us head to the Cathedral in Wishuel. Yeah! Let's get pumped! We'll see you soon, Bouquet! Hey guys, so <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes into the video in the beginning I was trying to make an intro but uh, my mic was on mute so uh, welcome to my channel and uh, we're just, I just usually dive into the game and uh, let's let's just keep going um, and thanks for joining me. So the mini map is located in the upper right area of the screen. It displays information about the map as it relates to the player's current location in the dungeon. 
the information important to advancing the story, such as areas where events will occur or enemy location, is always displayed via various icons on the mini map. So main event, sub event, um, warp points, return points, uh, player, enemy, treasure, material acquisition point. Basically, you just head to everywhere. That's how I look at it. <laughs> When using warp points, be aware that the bosses may appear right after warping. In such cases, the player cannot leave the dungeon until the boss is defeated. Okay. Icons marking locations for specific items or treasure chests are not generally displayed on the minimap. They will, however, appear when using a certain item. Okay. Okay, so... Can you jump? Yeah, I can jump. X is jump. Okay, let's just let's just go. It's been like 20 minutes into a game. I've done nothing. I found a monster already. It's time to show my stuff. Just so you know, it's your own fault if you waste all your energy too soon. Don't come asking me for help later either. You say that you are, but can you even keep up with me? I'm a pro. <sighs> now you've done it. You'll never outgame me, Neptune. Not in a million years. Well, just don't die out there. You can leave the healing to me. Now, everyone, let us begin the battle. Ha! Oh, using square. Okay, okay, okay. Tie yeah! Oh, nice little combo. R1 to lock on to an enemy. Yep. Okay, about an enemy status. Okay, locking onto an enemy will display their health points and break gauges. Okay, oh, okay, the green is break gauge. When their break gauges is depleted, they will become susceptible. Oh man. Elements the enemy is susceptible to are displayed under weakness. Okay, okay, burn. Okay, party members and enemies can acquire status effects during battle. If a party member is afflicted with a status effect, they can be healed with certain items. Okay. So guard against attacks three times. Oh, there's guard. So R1 locks on. I just want to see if I... Okay, I can turn the camera with the right toggle. So I'm going to lock on and just block his attack. R2 with an attack to use perfect guard. Okay, okay, let's see. Here we go. Man, I suck at guarding. I suck at guarding. It wasn't. Okay, this is weird because I. There we go. Oh boy. Use items with triangle. There we go. Okay, use skills while holding L1, okay? Ooh, hello. Up slice. Up slice. Okay, let's see uh, what fire does. About skills. Hold the L1 button and press the square X triangle or circle to use attack or healing skill skills. Switch between skill sets with the up and down directional keys. Okay. Okay, so if you look at the center where it says skill in the red and yellow, you can actually change your skills up. Not bad. I am gonna just see what this says. They told me to go in. Okay, about the start menu. Pressing the options button will open the menu. Change equipment or view your status from here. Okay, assign skill available in each skill set from within the menu. New skills are learned by leveling up. Members of your party will use skills available to them via their skill sets. Don't forget to set whatever skills you prefer to use during battle. Higher stats are correlate to stronger skills. 
uh, strength oriented attack skills lower health points more and int oriented skills are more effective in reducing the break gauge ooh all my buddies are here now okay this this is not bad looking i, I like the art style this is a good adaptation of kind of like a MMO, just the bottom right. Kind of tells you what's happening. I like supposed to go here? What is this? Oh, this is an item. Ah. There we go. I do... <laughs> actually, hang on. The map. Okay, I see where they want me to go. Um, I do actually own quite a few of the... the um, Hyper Dimension of Junior games, but I just... I've never played it. <laughs> I own all the ones on PS3. I think I'm just missing the one on PS4, but I own them all. I just never had the time to play it just because there's... Oh boy, these games take train some time. I heard this game isn't doesn't take too long. Yikes. It's O? Is it O? Yeah, it's O. I keep hitting square. Because the last game I was I was playing was, uh, was square every time. I don't think they have a skill point distribution in this one. Uh, let's take a peek. Ooh, it doesn't actually pause the game when you do this. Okay. Um, don't use skills, prioritize attack, let's go all out. Okay, your life is... Uh, I'll leave it to them for now. Equipment? Smokes. Different gems. Hey, they have yeah different stuff too. Okay, let's just keep going. I've never played one of these games, so I have no clue. I played JRPG, but definitely um I haven't played any Neptunia games. I do have motion sickness. Just so you know, you'll never see me play any first person in, on my channel. <laughs> and this isn't giving me any, uh, uh, any motion sickness at all so far. It's easy to find these items. I like it. They make it pretty obvious. What's this? Oh boy, not doing enough damage. Hey, you can do air attacks too. That's cool. Okay. Uh, I actually love the art design. Anything in here? I love looking for secrets. I heard this isn't a very long game compared to most of the games that Neptunia has. This is probably uh, like a 20 hour game. Okay. I thought we all level up the same. If you look on the bottom left, Everyone is leveling up a little different. Maybe it determines like how how much you hit. Da, na, na, na. hit glasses. I'm not sure how hey, much I need. Hey, does that. anyone see the exit? I feel like I'm getting a good handle on the controls. Yikes! Oh, what's that? oh dear! It seems we have a guest. Are we starting the boss battle? Well, this is only the first dungeon, so I'm sure we'll be fine. Why, yes, our bare hands would be more than enough for a tutorial boss. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, that's very nice and all, but please fight with your weapons. My instincts are telling me to go in swinging against the boss. But for now, I'll do my best to help with we support. Did it. Is everyone ready? Let's go! I picked this up! Okay, I'm, I'm guessing the reward Okay, okay, let's, let's see what fire does. Man, these, these girls are hardcore, they just keep going. Do we have anything else we need from here? Oh, there. I picked this up. I don't know what that that stuff will do later on. It doesn't tell me yet. Um, there is a warp point here. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's uh, let's stop right here for this video. I'm I'm a. Uh, I'll see you back in the next video. If you like what, what I'm doing, uh, hit the like. If you don't, <laughs> move on.